we're going to take a look at some of the features of our advanced inventory management module. This module provides you with additional tools that will help you with complex inventory requirements such as dimensional inventory, part cross-referencing, setting up alternate parts, managing multiple bins within one warehouse or across multiple warehouses, as well as the warehouse management tools that give you the ability to transfer from one warehouse to another. We're going to start by taking a look at a part. When we look at this part, you can see the information on the part, you can see our quanti total quantity on hand, but we can see that this part has been assigned to two different warehouses. Within one of those warehouses, it has been assigned to two different locations, and we can see the quantity in each of those locations. So we have zero quantity on hand at the receiving location, but we do have 40 at the south wall location. As mentioned, we can set up alternate parts within the system. So if I don't have this part in stock, I can use this other part number as an alternate for that. We can also set up part cross-referencing for our suppliers and our customers, such as I call this item a Pax Aeropod in my shop, but when I buy it from HD Horsemanship, they call it a supplement. Also, when I purchase it from them, I have to purchase it as a case, but I'm gonna inventory each one of those items. That case has 24 in it, so I've used this conversion factor tool to build that in. So when I receive the case that was on my purchase order, when I receive that into inventory, it's going to split that up into 24 items. We can also use our reports and grids to see some of this information, such as if we run a stock status report, we can run it grouped by the warehouses. So you can see here my stock for Fort Worth and my total amount in Fort Worth. I can certainly filter it by one warehouse, or as I did here, I can group it by the warehouses to see the total cost for each warehouse. But on the last page, I would also see my grand total for my company as a whole. This stock status report is great at giving us a snapshot of what our inventory is right now, or if we need to backdate it to see what our inventory was, say at the end of the month. Other items we have are some of our grids, such as this grid that I've called current inventory. So I've configured it so it only shows me items that I have quantity on hand of. I can group it by the warehouse and just look at what do we have in that main warehouse. I can also choose to filter it by using the drop down for my warehouse in my search area and say, let's look at what's in the Fort Worth warehouse. So this is what is making up that 70 some odd thousand dollars of inventory. Also within our warehouse management module, we can create requisitions from one warehouse to let the other one know that they're requesting some items. We can then transfer those items. The receiving warehouse can then do a receipt so we can track as the inventory is moving between the warehouses. For example, I have a warehouse transfer here that we can take a look at. So if someone had started a requisition, you can see here we've got the add from warehouse requisition button that we could use to fill in the warehouse transfer. If they happen to call me on the phone, I could simply use this add to add each item that they were wanting to receive. I put in the quantities, I post this, and then once they receive it on the other end, they can use this information to receive that into their warehouse, completing the transfer of the inventory. M1 also has tools such as this grid of bomb with cross-references that we can use to take a look at some of those cross-references and, and items that we have built into there.